Good evening, everybody, and welcome along to stream number 13 of my Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories playthrough. Tonight we are bonus streaming to make up for the lost time last week. And we are going to be jumping in to the fifth floor of the basement here in Castle Oblivion. Continuing on from our kind of spamming, hacking, slashing, um, whatever you want to call it sort of thing we're doing right now in the last episode we was very undecided as to what the right method was and the best way to play the game was with Riku so I wholeheartedly expect that indecisiveness of myself to carry on here tonight but without further ado let's jump in and get going Good to see you, Nathan. Welcome along, as it is to you, Doctorus, as well. I'm very well, thank you very much. Hope uh, second half of the week has treated you a little bit better, Doctorus. All right, off to Wonderland we go. It seems. Might be slightly in my ears. A little bit loud for me. I'm oh, sorry to hear that, Doctorus. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do here is something I haven't actually done yet in the playthrough. It's just like, look at the deck that we're given. And, oh dear. We have a very difficult deck here, actually. I was just going to look to see where we could put a handy shortcut in my deck. But it seems like we literally have nine cards to use here. So I think... I think dueling is going to be the way forward here. I'm going to add a shortcut at the minute. Halfway through the deck on this 4-5-3. Um, but yeah, this... This could be a, an interesting area. Let's have a look, see how we get on with these Heartless here. I say that. I'm very well, thanks, Deathwish. Um, how, how are you? Did you... Uh, oh, man, fantastic. Did you get that... How's um, that going? Hey, my, back's, my, my, my back's good now. My back, I'm completely off the oh, meds. Crap. So, yeah, everything is good in relation to the back. Um, how's the, uh, how's the car? Uh, did you get the car fixed? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to open my... Hold on a second. I think this cord just took a dump on me. Nothing new there, then. try and boost you a little bit because my I would never uh, have audio issues never never everything like, was working fine and then all of a sudden away it's almost like we haven't done this for a while and it knows and it's like <laughs> i'm gonna screw you over just look boost you a little bit because you're a bit quiet on my end but Back to the park, and... So you can talk. Okay, yeah. That's better. That was, that was a bit more prominent. Yeah, my... For whatever reason, I haven't changed a thing. <laughs> my output device in Discord went back to the default, the, uh, default, so... Yeah, there you go. Of course it did. But, hey, at least I knew where to go to look first. <laughs> it's almost like it's happened so many times, you're uh, an expert. Crazy. Yeah, so, um, yeah. did you get everything uh, everything sorted with the truck? Because obviously when I spoke to you at the beginning of the week, uh, 
It was like new clutch, new water pump. Uh, uh, fan, fan clutch, which is connected to the fan, which is connected to the water pump. Uh, if you replace the water pump, pretty much, uh, you're stupid if you don't replace the fan clutch while you're at it. Yeah, uh, it, it took me about, long story short, it took me about six, seven hours a day, and then about another four or five on Wednesday to finish it up. Okay. Uh, and that was to test it and everything else, leaks and all that stuff. Yeah. Which everything works great, and but yeah, oh my god, because I'm on uh, blood thinners due to my AFib, my, yeah. and, and I'm even though I had a, a they call it like a, a, I was gonna say it, not a quilt, but a, a what do you call it? <laughs> The, the, the thick padded kind of yeah my brain is like broad they uh yeah I guess kind of like a quilt right is it about like a duvet cover or something in bed or uh, yeah like kind of like that but yeah, anyway so that was folded up and I had that on top of the the front of the vehicle so I could lay on that. You have to lay on the front to reach down and your feet don't touch the ground even though my truck is lower than the truck because it's not full wheel drive or anything like that. And man, because of the blood thinners, my, my arms on where I was reaching over my chest, my stomach, my arms were all bruised the absolute shit. Okay. My, my, yeah, I mean, it was like my whole body from toes to my neck were absolutely killing me. And I was like, oh boy, Knock would love, love to see me right now after what he went through. <laughs> And I, I was like that, and then the next day I was like, man, I really don't want to, I don't even want to look at it, but I had to finish it up. So. Yeah. Luckily, I, I was I was able to I finish it up by myself. Things went definitely smoother putting it back together than the removing things uh, yeah it's insane how much you have to remove to get to one part like I had to, I had to remove pulleys the device I don't know if you've ever done any kind of mechanical work uh, no I'm not really too good when it comes to like, uh, like automotive kind of repairs and things so I normally kind of just take it to the garage and get somebody else to do it so <laughs> Yeah, well, this saved me about uh, not counting uh, the parts themselves with the, the fan clutch and water pump, and then the uh, coolant, the other tidbits, is about 200 bucks. Okay. And if I would have taken it somewhere, uh, especially a dealership or something, I, I saved myself about six to eight hundred dollars in labor. Yeah. So I basically, yeah, it was, it was a pain, but essentially I, I pretty much paid myself sixty dollars an hour, sixty to eighty dollars an hour to do it myself. So instead of a thousand dollars, it cost me two hundred. Like so well, that's, 
if, anything like that, if you can do it yourself, you're like, tend to be quids in. Yeah, uh, it's no fun, but the, 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 the money savings yeah, and the satisfaction of, yeah, doing it myself. And I've, I've changed many water pumps out, starters, alternators, gas tanks, fuel pumps. I mean, you name it, I pretty much have done everything since I started driving. And a lot of it was parking lots at the most like, ridiculous places that you would never want to work on something. But this was by far the worst. And, yeah. I, was, and I was in the garage. So that says a lot. Like, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, all done. All good. And then, so I get back. Yesterday, uh, about two, three, two, two o'clock, yep. and my, my mom and uh, they, she went to the eye doctor, and they were heading back. She had, uh, they have a Honda Odyssey. Come on. I don't think we have that model over here, so I'm not not familiar with it. Okay, it's a it's a van, like okay. a mini van, yeah. mini van type thing. But uh, yeah, I had to change the starter out and stuff on that. On. All was good, but then they were coming back from uh, her eye appointment, and it just cut off on them. Okay. Damn. Uh, cursed it off the side of the road, busy ass road. Then I get a call. I'm like, oh, who called for? Because hold on, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give you. Let me let Ken talk to you, my stepfather. It's like, God, uh, I was driving down the road and it just cut off. I'm like, alternator. Yeah. And it's like, no, it might be the battery. The battery is like five years old. And I said, no. The car will not cut off on you. The battery dies. Just won't be able to start it back up. If you yeah, it back it's, it's, it's not something that's needed for like the general running of the car. Once the car is, is going, then it's fine. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so I, I took a couple of my test equipment went down there and uh, I also had a I got a jump uh, jump battery which I, I knew would make any difference with it but it has a it has a readout on it so when I connect yeah. it up it, it'll it'll tell me the voltage I, I couldn't find my uh, voltmeter my own. anyway so yeah, I'm like, it's probably the alternator. So I stuck it on there and it was like giving me like beep, 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 beep. I'm like, yep, uh, there's a short. So I removed the cables from the battery, tested the cables, fine. Battery, fine. I'm like, yep, exactly what I said, the yep. alternator. And I said, the alternator has shorted out. Because when when I put it on, it would it would give the short short out signal. Yeah, you know, like you know, a loop. But anyway, so I'm like, yeah, you could start it up and run it, and drive it since it's still daytime. Hey, crazy! Uh, I'm crazy. And it and you can you can make it. To where you are, just off the battery. If if you can unplug the alternator, because the alternator, I, I knew it was shorted out inside of it. Yeah. Uh, so, but the one little stupid plug, the way it's designed, barely have any room to fit your hand down. 
and the part you have to press in to release it is on the underside so you can't see it you can only kind of feel it and it's tight as crap so couldn't get it and then this was like yeah no this is like four o'clock now uh, when, when i went down there and then so i called triple a for y'all is double a i think oh yeah uh triple a is american uh, automobile automobile association right yeah whereas ours yeah, is it. just the automobile association so yeah here it's uh aa is alcoholics anonymous so yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have AA, that aa as well so <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just different different things because it's, yeah, you had American on, but yeah, I called him up, uh, but she couldn't get through to a person, so I, I did it. And anyway, got got through to him, and then I got cut off right near the end. Uh, they had it, all my all the information, all that stuff. Then just I got disconnected. And I was right. like, okay, we'll wait. A, we'll wait a few minutes for them to call back. They had the number. They, the account, everything was there. Like, all the info was there. Yeah. They never bothered to call back. And okay. So, like, I called back, and I was like, okay, I got cut off. Look. And anyway, they go, yep, uh, it was saved. Yeah, they just, they just didn't even bother calling us back. So anyway, finished up the rest of it. Yeah, they were like, okay, I got you on priority. And like me personally, I haven't used it in probably five years or so for like my daughter and my ex-wife. And, and I think I, I never waited more than 20, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I go, it'll be 7.30. I'm like, what? Yeah, at that time, like I said, it was like 4 o'clock. Like 7.30? Because, well, I'll put you on that priority. So it should be sooner than later. Well, yeah, that was a bunch of BS. I left my truck there for them to use once it got towed so they can use my truck. And I and I rode back with my nephew. He, he yeah, come down, and they didn't get there until after eight o'clock. Wow. Yeah, so Alvin, it was just a big cluster. But uh, yeah, lots lots of fun, lots. Of fun. Um, just to catch a bunch up. Um. Good news, Doctress, that you um, opened Blender. Um, good to see that um, you know you felt like you was confident enough to open it up again today after uh, having your little kind of blip with it in the week. So yeah, that's good news, buddy. But but will it blend? Well, <laughs> duh. I couldn't help myself. Yeah, going crazy. Obviously, um, nice timing. Obviously, my end of the joke there didn't catch on either, so it's fine. Uh, no. Well, Wait, you said you said did it did it blend, and I went, of course it did. Duh, as in blend. Duh. But yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. My bad. The joke the joke's not so good when you have to explain it. Yep, I, I, I know <laughs> how that is. <laughs> I guess it was the lack of the R and it I wasn't yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Blend It's a Blenda Which works if you're uh, expecting an English accent. Yeah. Blenda Blenda Yeah, so uh, I'm happy to report that I'm, say, fully back to uh, health, which is good. Good. Yeah, I was hoping you weren't going to be on 
<clears throat> the old uh, morphine and other stuff because man, that I don't. I well, could bite, that, you, well, bite I, you in the butt real quick. So because I haven't like I haven't really like said like the full story anyway. Um, so obviously Wednesday night I I went to I went to bed and I just like yeah I was absolutely in excruciating pain. My back was just constantly spasming. Oh, it cost. Well, I, I have a hunch that um, we're masturbating too much. Right, damn, I've busted. <laughs> um, earlier, well, about a week or so ago, I helped my friend move some sofas. Yeah. And I wonder if I like did something then, and it's just kind of like been biding its time almost. And then I did something at the beginning of the week. Well, I know I did. I got out of my car. And it was getting out of my car that just kind of brought it, it, brought it on. Yeah, brought it on like full blown sort of thing. That's the only thing I can kind of think of at the minute, anyway. That can um, happen. I mean, so yeah, I, I I I went to I went to bed and I was literally like in, in absolute agony. I just kept spasming up and I couldn't move. Um, so I rung, not like 911, or you're like, you couldn't like 911. We have a service called 111, where rather than like ringing for an ambulance and um, if it's not important, you can like talk to a clinician over the phone and discuss what's going on. Yeah, not, not um, emergency. Yeah, so yeah, non, yeah, kind of not like a non emergency. So I spoke to them, um, they were like, okay. Um, Sounds like you need like some diazepam or something. You're gonna have to come in and see us. Um, we'll make you an appointment. Um, do you think you can get to the hospital for the appointment? I was like, yeah, that's fine, not a problem at all. Then I turn up at the hospital and say, uh, oh, I've spoken to 111. I've got an appointment at, I think it was like 10 past 11. Um, I still have to do that beeping. Um, I've got an appointment at 10 past 11. And this is, oh, what's the problem? So I had to like re explain to like the people on the emergency room. Um, reception like what was wrong um, and then they turned around to me and said um, oh well booking at the ER room don't go for your appointment because with it being back it, you might need to go for scans and bits and pieces so I sat in the emergency room this was like I got I got there at half past ten at night I was like really it was really a appointment because I was just like well, I'm, I'm up and out of bed I'm moving let's just go while I can move sort of thing yeah um and then about half an hour later, I like went through to triage, to, like see the nurse, and she's like, "Okay, we'll we'll get you some diazepam and see if that re that helps it out." Um, an hour later, so this is midnight, still no better, and they're like, "Okay, we'll um, we'll take some bloods from you." So they they put a cannula in my arm in case I needed meds later. Um, they gave me some of that. Uh, did my bloods. Sat there for another two hours, so we got to two o'clock in the morning. Still hadn't seen anybody, still was in pain. They're like, okay, we'll bring you some morphine. And then I sat there until quarter past seven in the morning before the doc like the ER doctor finally called me through. So like nearly nine hours after I'd got to the emergency room, nice. I finally went through to see this doctor. Um he like did all the exams and he like was like Touching me to see if like it was tender anywhere or, or, or anything. And I knew it wouldn't be because it, it was, and I knew deep down it was muscular related. Um, so yeah, we went through all that. It was like, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you like a course of antibiotics and painkillers. So literally, I, I went back to the. This is how bad the NHS is. Like, I went back into the waiting room, and that's where I had my um, medication brought to me and, and basically given to me. But. Um, they, uh, they don't me, do that here. They had um so I had an IV drip of a full IV of paracetamol. I had another diazepam. I had um more more morphine, and then I also had a sub, uh, some suppository as well that um they said was really good for like lower back pain. So and I've never had a suppository for my back pain. So literally like four four things, um all at once. And they said, right, that's it. Go home. If you uh, if you still get pain when you go home, take paracetamol, ibuprofen, or you could try cocodamol. And 
Thursday was great because I was pretty much high as a kite on the hospital meds. I mean, the yeah. fact that they like drug me up. <laughs> Woke up Friday morning and it was like, shit, I'm back to square one because you have not prescribed me any stronger pain relief. So I ran my doctor's surgery, got an appointment with the doctor, explained what had gone on, and then she prescribed me some diazepam, morphine, and some stronger ibuprofen kind of stuff. Um, spent the weekend on everything. But then I still said to Katie Sunday night, I was like, okay, I, I'm going to try and like start weaning off it now. So I think Monday, I literally had like one or two morphine and diazepam. Like Tuesday, I was just on the ibuprofen stuff. And then yeah. yesterday was my first day without like, anything. So yeah, nice. I didn't I, I didn't want to stay on it too long. Nah, nah, good. Good deal. But Good. to be fair, the, the doctor only gave me enough for... If I took the maximum dose, it was only enough for three days on the diazepam and the morphine anyway, so... Yeah, well, that's good. I mean, they they pretty much won't even give you that here. Yeah. Unless, unless you're, like, in the hospital and whatever, and even then, uh, like, it, you know, if you're staying overnight and stuff, it, they might, but... Yeah, but they're very. Yeah, they just... Because of the amount of people that get hooked on it and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, they don't even, even though you can only get it in there, they, they, they're very timid about giving people anything more than yeah. like. Uh, hydrocodone or uh, Percocet or something like that. Morphine. Uh, I don't think you would ever get morphine or anything like that here for your back, no matter what's going on. The problem was, though, it's like because they gave me like four different things all at the same time in hospital, I couldn't exactly turn around and pinpoint to the doctor like what it was that I needed and what it was that like worked for me because <laughs> they gave me so much stuff at the same time. It was just crazy. <laughs> So, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. They they would never do that here. They're, it's like, okay, that's they give you they give you one thing. Okay, let us know in about a half hour if that's helping. Now, okay, you know, so um, yeah, it, it's gotten like 20, 20 years ago, 25, 30 years ago. Yeah, they would have just giving you whatever, but uh, they've, they've really tightened up on a lot of that stuff. Even well, if, I mean, you, even the, if you um, really need it, they, they still don't give it to you. I mean, well, like I mean, you would have to uh, literally be a burn patient before you got stuff like that. Was, um, isn't there a big opioid problem anyway in uh, America? So, I mean... Yeah, in certain certain areas, certain cities, certain, you know, uh, it, yeah, doctors just don't drive it much. Uh, and I, I used to, I was prescribed uh, hydrocodone many years for back as well as alprazolam and. Yeah, like the muscle relaxers. Yeah. And none of it none of it really worked. And I only took the other stuff because I felt good. <laughs> and you know, it was so what you call uh, uh like when you a, a side effect of it is a, a false sense of well being. Okay. Which said, so, like the hydrocodone, which is a uh, opioid, or an opiate, uh, and all this stuff. Yeah, I could take it, and, and I felt really good as far as I was happy and I was clear minded and all that. Didn't really help much with the pain, but it made me in a good mood. Then it just got to where 
Yeah, I was taking it just for that. And I was like, okay, I need to stop taking this crap. Yeah. Just because it actually got to where it made me feel like crap. And, uh, I, I told the doctor, yeah, don't give me that anymore. I don't want any more. I was like, now, like 15, 20 years ago now. But anyway, yeah. Uh, it's kind of, it's tough to get through. And, uh, yeah, crazy. A little bit of lack of sleep. That ain't nothing. Compared to... <laughs> you talking to Mr. Lack of Sleep Expert over here. Yeah, that, that ain't nothing compared to back pain. And, oh my God, I, I felt like I was in a ring with Mike Tyson after the water pump thing. Being every inch of my body hurt. But I felt better. I actually, this past seven days, I lost 15 pounds. Wow, good on you. Yeah. I just kept going, going, going. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna keep, keep going. I want to start training for a marathon. Jeez. I've always said I wanted to do another half marathon. Um, I did a half marathon in t uh, 10 years ago, 2013. And I was, um, my time was about five minutes shy of two hours. And I've always thought about doing another one just to try and get under that like two hour mark. Oh, that's, that's actually really good. But I don't know, my knees are not what they used to be. <laughs> well, they don't get better unless you keep training. Like you keep doing it. So, uh, yeah, trust me. At, at 50, like when I was 40, if I could get back to 40, I could do way more than. And I've just kind of. I, I haven't kept up physically like I should have. You know, I was an athlete growing up, so it took a long time for things physically start to really affect me. But I gotta say, like when I start, when I start doing something, it doesn't take long for me to, like I'm still at the stage where even though I'm 50, I can, I can start doing stuff and get easier and easier, still fairly quickly yeah. compared, compared to the average person. Because I was always a fairly high level athlete. Route and pretty much and my whole life until pretty much about 40. Then that was kind of, yeah, I was still active at then, but I was only doing like three miles a day. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, I've I've re sort of replaced running with, with walking now. I, I do yeah. more walking than anything. I think fast walk, you can walk, you to walk fast enough to where basically at almost jogging speed, but without the impact. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've, walk, I've, I've, I've always walk walked sort of like, a, uh, I, I walk about like a 15 minute mile normally. So I'm not particularly dawdling when I walk around. So, I mean, walking uh, 15 minute miles. Yeah, that's good. I mean, so, I, I can only relate to when I used to actually run competitively. And I would do 5K and about my best time was 1447. Okay. Uh, my it, best time for a 5K is about 24 minutes. So. <laughs> no, that's not no, bad. That's nowhere not near good. in your league, dude. I, I used to run about an eight minute mile when I used to go out running, so. Well, that ain't, that, that's actually quite good. Man, if you're not dedicated training. Like the first time, I, when I started running, I was 13. I mean, I'd run plenty, but I mean, when I started actually running like cross country. Yeah. I was, when I was 13, my very first 
5k was about 23 minutes, so almost 24 minutes. And then a couple months I got down to 20 minutes. And then I, I got, by the end of the season, I was in the 19 range. Yeah. Like you, you, you increase much faster to start, and then it gets harder and harder. But then, like my ninth grade year, by the time I was fourteen, uh, I, I was that, that's when I said I did a four-minute mile. That's crazy—a four-minute mile. Jeez. Yeah, well, I never got into the three-minute miles like the world record. Yeah. Well, well I know, but even three. still, dude, that's pretty freaking impressive. But yeah, I got uh, four-minute, I forget what it was, 4.30-something uh, on my first mile of a 5K. I won regionals. I was still short. I was like five, seven. Oh, it weighed like a buck 20. And, uh, and there are all these other guys, who, like basketball players and stuff they had. They're running it, keeping shape in the off season. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was funny though, my, my little short ass. Uh, wasn't by them. I won regionals. And I, I, I had, a, like I said, my best time. I did 1447. Uh, that was my best time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never, I think the farthest I ever ran was kind of training and stuff and did like a nine mile times. So it was like freaking 90 some hundred degrees outside and oh my god, it was awful. Yeah, so much easier younger like that. I'm just going to catch up on chat here for uh, yeah. a second because uh, I've been neglecting the chat a little bit. Um, what we got here? Uh, yeah, Dr. So I went to, went to A&E last week. That's why there was no stream. Um, crazy, if you're feeling tired, personally, went to bed late. You're doing your work on the projects. You didn't actually go to bed till 3.30. Got up 8 this morning. Yikes. Yeah, uh, walk, welcome to college. Um, I mean, I tend to only have like five to six hours sleep a night anyway, so I'm quite used to not having a lot of sleep. Um, have, you, have, they heard, have you heard of the new OLED Steam Deck? No, I haven't. I guess it's um, yep. doing a similar sort of thing to the uh, Nintendo Switch because obviously they've got their OLED model now as well. I'm guessing similar sort of thing. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing the, it's not really the much Steam different. Deck here, actually, they, they, sorry. Um, um, two seconds. I'll, I'll I'll release you in a minute. Calm down. <laughs> um, you've only just realised you opened up Blender again. Take your time, doctors. Don't rush into it. And uh, yeah, I used to do part run as well. Crazy. Um, back in the day, when I, when I first moved into this house, actually, I used to do it. So about eight years ago, nearly. All right, you're free to talk, Deathwish. Go for it. Oh my goodness, I couldn't wait. <laughs> you know, I brought up Steam Deck. Yeah, the new Steam Deck. Uh, yeah. Inside, but did for the same price. They didn't raise the price except for the mid tier. They only raised that one by twenty bucks. But you get like triple the memory on the entry level. Oh, that's good. You can, uh, and what you want, if you want the good stuff, get the mid tier. And it's only 20 bucks more than the previous one, but you get uh, it's like the. Uh, what they did was actually quite. Really well done because they kept it the same size, but the screen is that about a half inch larger uh, okay. it went from it went from a seven inch screen to a seven and a half inch oled hdr screen okay and i mean the, the difference is incredible 
you can, when you look at them side by side. Uh, get way more storage. And you get, uh, I mean, the response. Yo, that, Angel Drop with the Raider 3. Thank you very much. Welcome along hey, to. Uh, hey, Angel Drop in the party of 3. We have Thank a seat much. reserved for you. Your table is right over here. Yeah, just my <laughs> trick master who's like smashing the crap out of it with a bit of fire, but. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like you survived that quite well. Yeah, well, the, the, the issue here, right, is, and I said this when we first went, came into Wonderland. So every time you come into a world, your deck is randomized with Riku, so you don't actually pick your deck and you can't, so you have to just deal with what you've got. I've literally got with this deck nine attack cards. So. And my highest cards are five, so it makes it really hard to um, duel with the enemy and, and do anything worthless there, uh, worthwhile there. So yeah, I'm struggling a bit. Uh, yeah, the stream's going well, thank you, Angel. Um, we are currently, well, we're getting towards the end of our Retain of Memories playthrough now. We're on floor five with Riku. Um, so yeah, we're not too far off. We've completely done Sora's story earlier on at the playthrough. So we're just kind of like tidying things up here. It's, um, were you streaming Kingdom Hearts yourself? Yo, Sarah Dids, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, hello. Welcome to the only place you can get free air baits. Angel Drop also with the follow. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Started your Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play. Nice. Uh, yeah, crazy. <clears throat> crazy. The red. I saw the red ones. Those are very, very limited. Even uh, Linus could not put their hands on it. They had to go to Valve headquarters to put their hands on that. Is that the new? The, you're talking, talking about the new OLED Steam Deck, right? Yeah, they got a uh, one that has like red stems on the thumb thumb controls, and uh, it, it's kind of semi-transparent. But yeah, it's so limited that. Yeah, they wouldn't even send Linus one. Wow. He had to get it. He had to go to them. To get the yeah. so good luck if you want that limited edition uh, version. Yeah. <laughs> like it. But yeah, like the the top of the line is. Now, same price, like it was before, but you get a terabyte. So. Like it. And uh, the battery, the battery lasts longer. Yeah, I mean, the improvements are quite, quite good. Uh, I didn't expect them to come out with another new version make so many different upgrades and it'd still be the same like you, if you had a uh, like a case that like one of the rubber cases protected and you know, whatever it'll still fit it still works things are in the same spot screen screen protectors still work okay even though this, the actual visible screen part is bigger, uh, you know, like I said, seven to seven and a half. But, the, but they just they just made the bezel smaller, keep the unit itself the same size. And yeah, there was a lot, and the, the like the cooling temperatures run way lower, and it's way quieter. And yeah, I mean, it, they really did a good job. With yeah, I like to get one, but I don't have an extra. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I've never really been that bothered, to be fair, about or interested in the Steam Deck. Yeah, same. I mean, I'm a computer guy, so. But it would, it would, I would love to have one if I could. If I just had, like, throwaway money, I would definitely yeah. get one. I would definitely get one. Because, yeah, I mean, it's big enough to wear when you're playing it as opposed to, like, your phone. Something, you know, it's just much more immersive. You got the touch pads. Or, or you know, D-pad, that and the other guys. Quite impressive. Oof. That was a spam jewel fight right there. Now you pause, what's going on? I saw you lurking there. The darkness is gone. There is no uh, more darkness. Trickster. Hope you're well there, buddy. Good to see you. Trickster has just been defeated. I'm also going to stretch there from Doctress and the Hydra. You've not bought Steam Deck yet, but you plan. You took upgrade your PC first. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to just, like get back into the, the blender and you're going to carry on seeing what you can and can't do with that, I think uh, GPU is probably going to be probably more a more important purchase for you. Uh, Octress, if I'm honest. GPU. Um, Ram. CPU. Yeah, I could tell. You, I could tell. You, uh, have an RTX 3060. Does not. In my case, doesn't really help any. I think I'd probably be better off putting my GTX 970 back. Well, RAM is super cheap, shares and everything else. So. The thing is, though, yeah. I mean, if if you if you were if you really want a Steam Deck, if there's an OLED model coming out, then um, you might look might see like a price reduction in the original model. So. If you're not too bothered about having an OLED, you know, it might be worth looking at um, an OG version. But, oh, yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, story they, time. 100% uh, yeah. agree with that. Like, if they, cause I think, what's the bottom one run? Like, uh, 400? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I've not really looked at the Steam Deck too much. So yeah, I, I forget. Really, I think the I mean, original, I think it's like the, the, the bottom one is like 400 or. Okay. Something like that, I think. I don't know. Somebody somebody can Google it, but got a bit of story uh, time coming up, Deathwish, so Oh, okay. Rock and roll. I'll mute myself. <laughs> Vexen is no more. Yes. His scent is gone. Axel struck him down. Something I find deplorable. Agents of the organization striking each other down. Our problem is Sora. Vexen proved to be no match for him. Yet he's still under Namine's control. But we cannot eliminate Sora, can we? Correct. For our superior, he is in dire need of the Hero of Light. When Light loses sight of its path, we may find use for the dark. What we must do is obtain the darkness. Riku, of course. Just one card left. If I get through this, will I be free of the darkness?
I mean one card left. I didn't have that card a minute ago. Where'd you get it from, Riku? Uh 256 model is already released. But the old models are getting phased out, really? Okay. That's interesting. I would have thought that I kept them on the market as an opportunity to um target more people, but I guess not. Probably why I don't work in marketing. You there, Deathwish? You can... you can come back to us now, buddy. Yes, I am here. <laughs> I was just doing some modulating amplitude. Oh, okay. Uh, variable. Did you have your synthesizer out? <laughs> hey, we need we need to work on that that uh Yeah, co I co I uh, I desperately need to get back to that track. It's I, like I, just... I, I have some more ideas for it. Ooh, okay, we've got a big deck here. This is interesting. That's what she said. <laughs> so we've got quite a lot of high cards in this deck. So I think we're going to be good here to do some dueling. Yeah, I don't know where to put a shortcut though at the minute. Um, shortcut towards the back end of the deck here and see how we get on. Because until we get into the fights, we won't really know what's uh, what to expect here. Fair, I can't do any dueling, I don't think, because okay. I think it's gonna be a um, darkness limited area because I don't have any cards that really can match the regular heartless. That's a cool move. That's a really cool move. Yeah, I see a lot of people who are kind of, a lot of people are often talking about upgrading their hardware and such. I mean, do you feel like you need to, do you feel like your PC is struggling that you actually need to upgrade or is it just like a, a want more than a requirement, crazy? I think it's a point. The problem is, it's like, it's so, like, components aren't exactly cheap, so, um, though we potentially well, want things. Yeah, GPU and CPU are two of the most expensive. Yeah. I mean, motherboard, RAM, damn it, so, fairly inexpensive. Yeah, CPU and GPU. Take this. But they they definitely get I, I see I can't even upgrade mine anymore. Yeah, I no, can put I don't a, remember you saying I, I mean my my motherboard can handle a higher CPU but I, I upgraded that in like five, six, seven to maximum motherboard. Yeah, I'm just at the point where I need to build a new one. But I'm yeah. almost at the point at the same time, like, uh, is it really worth it? Yeah, like it. Yeah. I find out a uh, pre build. I'd, I'd rather build my own. I've been doing that since like, uh, 2000. I've been doing that since we were all still in diapers, eh, Deathwish? Yeah, yeah, diapers, definitely. <laughs> if, you've yeah, two... a couple, if you've already agreed a couple of times, though, crazy, um, no, I mean, yeah, don't waste your money. 
I would be more inclined to maybe look at a new system completely if you've already upgraded a few times. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, storage, storage is one thing you can always can't go wrong by upgrading the storage. Whether so adding more or at, or adding like or SSD or NVMe drives if other work has that, but RAM uh, adding more. The problem is that that helps, but only but so much. Then with the I'm motherboard say, you have, you can't get you can't get faster RAM unless you upgrade the motherboard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's so many things to look at. It, it comes to it comes to a point where it's, uh, you're wasting your money on upgrades, especially because I I know you said you had a you had a you had an RTX card. So I wouldn't bother upgrading that unless you're upgrading your, your whole system, like motherboard. Everything. Yeah. And I don't think uh, if you got, I'd say at least a 30, 3080 Ti. You got at least that. No point in going to the 40 series. Unless you just got big time money. Go away. Not really go away, but. And if you get something like a, a 3070, you get a PI. That's equivalent to 4070, 40. This word. I know you said you was um, modulating and, and um, like messing around your amplitude and everything, uh, Deathwish, but did you genuinely do that? Because I feel like you've gone quieter. Oh, no, I didn't. I promise. Take this. How about this? Well, I don't know, because you're not saying anything right now, so I can't comment. <laughs> uh, mic check. Check one, check two. Mic check. So, I mean, the next question, though, would be, are you saying that you want to um, upgrade for RTX? I mean, is RTX really that important a feature? And the other thing I would say is, um, if you're doing it for better performance, are the things that you're doing now struggling and being limited by your current hardware? Uh, I thought you already upgraded to an RTX I know you was talking a lot um, a while ago that you was um, about Portal RTX and playing that. So, yeah, I yeah. Would kind of agree with Deathwish. Did you not get one? You haven't? Okay. Uh, I know you then, said that, something about like a online service, though, didn't you, or something? That uh, you yeah, that's right. That's right. You're right, Doc. Uh, yeah, that's not the same as having an actual hardware uh, GPU that's, that's an RTX card that has. Uh, you know, but it has built in the lighting and all that. Yeah, that's completely different. Tell oh, your personal yeah. assistant to be quiet, Deathwish. <laughs> Alexa, tell Knock to shut up. She, she just said what? And then shut up. <laughs> She said, basically said, I plead the fifth, no comment. <laughs> She's basically saying, I would tell him to shut up, but I don't have no clue who that imbecile is. Ah, <laughs> uh, so we need to, I guess, probably uh, hit some uh, 
podcast stuff. Yeah, I was thinking about that this morning actually when I was out on my walk, but um, we probably should start working on the next episode. Well, I think we kind of hit on some stuff during the stream that could have been on it. Yeah, it's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> yep. We're always casually talking and, you know, the topics that we kind of hit on more often than not would be ideal candidates for podcasts, but... Well, you know, uh, just now thinking about it, you know, the way it went, if we had some silent people that, that could only text while we were doing that and say things like in chat and then work off of that. Well, so you almost think, so you're kind of like saying what, like a record the show but in front of an audience sort of thing yeah but without uh, like the audience participation almost so like we just we don't react to it kind of thing we just i know i know what you mean um something that lb used to do actually when he was used to do um his different videos on his patreon if he was a subscriber you could uh watch him like record his videos and he would live stream them so you could like talk and like put your suggestions and thoughts while he was doing his recordings so okay but yeah thing. essentially that essentially like streaming uh, kind, of, kind of like a lot of podcasters do like uh, where they're yeah, they have a, a, a guest typically, especially like, you know, like somebody like, say, Conan O'Brien. Yeah, he's, he's got his people with him and then he always has a guest on. And then he's, he's uh, doing his house thing like he's done for years, whatever it's been. But then, yeah, you know, he could have people you know, different people say whatever and they just go off, off the cuff. Yeah. That, that sort of thing, so yeah. Uh, I think it would make it be more interactive. Then it would also be easy to, you, know, you don't have to necessarily come up with a particular topic you brought yeah. up but I, I would say have some topics general to to, to to go by but then if you had people that say hey i want to uh, be part of this when are you going to do it line it up and then have three or four people or something and, and text chat then Go off of that and when there's kind of a blank a blank spot and go to go to what uh we have kind of already written down sort of thing yeah no i you know. it's, it's a good idea it's definitely something we can uh, look at for sure 